Okay guys, so, um, a bit of a different video, but I saw another guy do this, um, so Resident Evil tier list, the original Resident Evil. So without this game, we would not have any of these games, but it could also do us some better gameplay, only because, only because of the shooting mechanic, that's basically the only thing I don't like about it, but if it didn't get popular, or if it was never made, we wouldn't have any of these games. And it does still have very good gameplay, especially for its time, 1996. And it had some of the most iconic scenes in Resident Evil. <laughs> so, I'm gonna put this at S. So the next one we have is Resident Evil 2. <gasps> Which also had amazing gameplay. Um, could do with some work, like that first scene where you have no ammo and you have to like escape from the zombies and they're just all around you like that first part of the gameplay but apart from that I think it's a really good game um so great characters introduce us to Leon and Claire and yeah I love it so much um so yeah that is also gonna go at A actually, yeah, an A. Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, it's a very good game. <laughs> but it wasn't my favorite. I like it, like, just a bit less than Resident Evil 2, but it could do with a lot, it has room for improvement, but for its time it is very good and it has some great scenes, great characters, brings back Jill, so with that I'm going to put it at B. Resident Evil Survivor. What? didn't like. It was really choppy and the characters weren't very good in my opinion so like I don't really have much to say about this because I never finished it but I'm gonna put this at D. Um, so then we have Code Veronica. I don't know what went on between you two, but you have them all wrong. My brother is not the kind of person you think he is. I despise Chris. Uh, what are you gonna do to him? Uh! Which is honestly one of my favorites. Um, it should have been Resident Evil 3, and then that should have been 4, in my opinion. But. It's a very good game. So, I am going to put it at an A level. This one, I've never played, so I'll just put that straight at D. One I've also never played. This one...
arguably one of the best remakes out there in the Resident Evil franchise, but actually, yeah, probably one of the best. And I love the characters, I love the gameplay. I didn't like the inventory system though, but apart from that, it was very good, so that will also go at B. Actually, that'll go at A as well. What's this, Resident Evil Zero? Oh. What happened? I don't... I played that once. Um... And it was honestly very good, but... It was a bit choppy when I played it. But great gameplay, great mechanics, great characters, great sound design. It's like top tier. Not top tier on this, but it's a very good game, so we're gonna put that there. Never played this. I played this like twice, a couple times, and I loved it. It had. Um. Mm, well. I don't really have much to say about it because I don't remember it that well, but it is honestly pretty underrated, so I will put it there. This, never played. This. I loved the comedy aspect of it. I loved the gameplay. It was the first third person one. Like, proper third person, I mean. Um, I loved that they brought Leon back. I loved, again, I loved the comedy. It was honestly one of my favorite games. <laughs> Probably like my third favorite and one of my favorite games. So I'll put that here. Um, Umbrella Chronicles, I also never played. There's a lot I haven't played this one with Nebel 5. Keep on! For what? For now to do here! It is a masterpiece. A lot of people hate it, but I love it. It's not fun to play single player, so it does bring it down to A. But if you have another person to play it with on co-op, it's honestly really good. But it would be S if the single player was good. The Umbrella Chronicles. Um. It is in our best interest that you survive. The G virus sample is required. If the T virus did this. What would happen if the G-Virus got out? That one also, I know I've said this about lots of games, but it has some good gameplay. It has okay cutscenes. Um, it's not the best Resident Evil game, but it's not the worst. And it's just a bit worse than these two, so I'll put it at C. Resident Evil th Mercenaries 3D. was very good, but I, uh, this one, I don't really have much to say about it, but it was quite good. <laughs> Could be better though. Revelations was one of the first games I played, um, and it's honestly one of the best games in my opinion. So I'm going to put an A, I just love the... Um, I don't know why I keep saying this, but I love the gameplay, I love the characters, I love that first, like, gooey boss thing, I can't remember what it was called, but I love that. Um, so yeah, with that it will go at an S. 
This one must this one. Operation Raccoon City. Uh, Operation Raccoon City could be better, in my opinion. But um, it does have some good sound sound design and good characters. So I'll put it at a C. Resident Evil Giraffe Bijou. That's what I call it because it looks like a giraffe. I don't know. But anyways, um, again, I love it. Very good game. I love the co-op. So I'll put it at A. There's not really much to say about it apart from the fact that I love that they brought Leon back. Um, so yeah, let's put that here. Revelations 2. I keep I'm putting loads on here, but on A, I mean. Um, Revelations 2 was very good. Um, I love the graphics. They really like up the graphics a lot. But didn't have the best characters in my opinion. Um, but all in all, a very good game. So I'll put it at an A again. Umbrella Corps never played. Resident Evil 7. Welcome to the family, son. <clears throat> I love the characters. Love the gameplay. I love it was so scary, which I absolutely loved about it. I loved the room design. I loved the sound design. I loved the cutscenes. I love... Um, I like they introduced us to Ethan and Mia. I found that really cool. Um... I, what I didn't like much was Chris coming back. Like, what he looked like, I mean. Could've been better, but honestly, probably my favorite Resident Evil game out there. So that will go there. It just has a special place in my heart. Um, Resident Evil 2 Remake. Jesus Christ! I'll go an S tier because it has good gameplay and I love the cutscenes, but they could have done more with it. I'll still put it at S, but at the back, you know? It doesn't deserve that front like 7 and 4 do. Um, but yeah, I did like what they did with Ada in it like the model I mean and and Leon's model um it was really good but it was a bit rushed and they cut rooms they cut enemies I'm pretty sure there were moths in the original was new game I'll play the clip now if there were But yeah, that gets to go there. There's an Evil 3 remake. Sorry. Oh, come on. Start, damn it. It's my turn, bitch. It's an amazing game. I love the game. It's probably one of my favorite games out there, but it's not a very good Resident Evil game because it's a good game as a whole. Like good gameplay, good action, good cutscenes, good graphics, good, game, good characters, etc. But it's not very Resident Evil-y, you know? They cut bosses, they cut scenes. Uh, it. It's okay. So put that. 
Resident Evil Village. Just behind Resident Evil 4. The only one where it matters what order it's in is the S tier, by the way. So it's better than all of those, but the one at the back is the worst S tier. Um, anyways. So yeah. S tier. Um, because I love the gameplay so much. I love the characters again. Um, I loved the castle, Castle Domitresque. I loved Lady Domitresque. I loved um, Miranda. I loved the DLC. DLC was great. Um, so yeah, that's gonna go. A it also has great ammo. I love the doll one. I can't remember her name. I was about to call her Annabelle then, but that's a different doll. But yeah, absolutely amazing game. Resident Evil R Reverse, um, very underrated in my opinion. I love it so much. I play it almost every day. Um, yeah, so I love it. That will be going an S for me, just in front of, just behind Resident Evil. Um, I don't get why everyone hates it so much, because I find it really fun to play. You know, it's a lot like D DBD, and I love DBD. And now, finally, Resident Evil 4. Yeah. A C. I didn't mean to open that. A C. Because... Oh, it could use a lot of work. Like a lot of work because I love the gameplay I love the game okay but there's a lot of things they did wrong they completely demolished the comedy aspect of it there was like one or two scenes that made me laugh a tiny bit whereas this I was laughing my ass off on some scenes like in this, Leon's just there to have a good time, in this, he's there just to save the daughter, nothing else. Um, and... I really hated the... Um, Ada voice acting. I don't know how it didn't annoy anyone else, but... It sounded like it was their first time voice acting, and it was like... Taken on a phone, like phone or something. You can stop right there, Leon. Would it make me use this? Would you? Just really didn't like it. Um, and those bug things, I can't remember what they're called, but in the original RE4, they were visible and it was like horrifying, or you could barely see them. And it was really scary and I loved it. In the RE4 remake, you can see them. They're just completely visible. So that's kind of annoying. And the Salazar boss fight. I didn't really like the Salazar boss fight because in the first one he stayed still. In this one he literally jumps around the room and you can barely move around because of his goo stuff. But, um, yeah, that's my tier list. Hope you guys like it. <laughs> um, what's your favourite Resident Evil game? Say in the comments. And also, I'm doing another giveaway at 200 subscribers in case you missed the 100 subscriber ones, and until the next one, peace out.